Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where today we're gonna be going over update 3.5, the fluid update. Which adds in new fluid packagers, glorious Mark II pipes, and a whole lot more. So remember to leave a like and let's get into things. So let's start this video off by going over the big new machine, the fluid packer. So this bad boy is small. It fits on just one platform, only uses like, what is it? 10 megawatts, that's it. And it takes the refinery's job of packing and unpacking fluids. So all these recipes that used to be down in the refinery are now handled by this little guy. And he's really cool, works really well. It's small, compact, fits between just a few wall tiles. So about the same size then as a constructor. Maybe a little bit taller though, just a smidge. But generally speaking, it's much more easier to deal with than this bad boy. Which, oh my god, got an update too. I didn't even know this. Check this out. They changed up the building. Whoa, dude, I didn't hear anything about this. We got the cool fluid thing up there. Dude, the remodel looking nice. I like this a lot. That's cool, they didn't even mention that. I guess there's a ton of stuff they didn't mention in the update video. This is great. And again, <laughs> now we don't have to do any of the fluid packing in this. We just have these little guys. Anything different in here? Nope, just the recipes taken out. Then all the other alternate recipes like pure iron and alternate concrete are in here still too, which is all good. Oh yes, and also the fluid packer here is made out of steel, rubber, and plastic. So you definitely have to be deep into oil tech, or at least into oil tech, in order to start building these. But man, a lot easier than this. My goodness. Moving on though, there's also power plugs that can now be put underneath foundations. So no more are power poles gonna be littered all over the ground. We are free. We're finally free. And check this out, this is like the best quality of life feature too. But when you go from a power pole to here, you can go up the wall with it now, you can go to the ceiling, you can go from one power plug here out to others, and bruh. That is just the best. It's gonna change how factory layouts are done pretty much forever now. Also, if you had a Mark III power plug and you made another one, okay, it goes right back to a Mark I. Still, that's okay, because you can just have one of these Mark III power plugs on the ceiling and boom, you can power like 10 machines. GG, easy. Oh, and I should mention, I should have mentioned this earlier, I'm using a bunch of satisfactory mods to effectively play in creative mode. That's why we can make everything out of nothing. Just as a heads up, that is not to do with the update. Ooh, and other little minor thing, but check this out. When you go into the awesome shop now, into organization, we now have factory ladders that only cost like four tickets. So let's get that unlocked. And what are they made out of? What, how do they work? Where are they? Organization, right? Aha. So just iron rods, well that's good. And man, it's so nice to have just proper ladders in the game now. I remember whenever I'm exploring, I'm using industrial storage containers because they have the ladder on them and they're easily stackable. So those are my kind of go-to ladders for the longest time. And I know most people have just been using the stackable conveyor poles. But now we got this. And how do we work? Ladder default height of two meters can be extended while building steps to walls and foundations. Okay, so yeah, just put that on the side wherever you want. Off you go. Stacks very easily, just like the same mechanics of, what, what are they called? The conveyor poles. And yeah, they're ladders. <laughs> what else is there to know? Seems you can space them out a little strangely, if you are a weird guy like me. That's all right. Said they're expandable too. <gasps> Ooh, you can hold down the mouse button and make them as tall as you want. So you don't even have to click a bunch of times. You can just drag and hold. <gasps> Ooh, click. Well, look at this. Okay, I really like the ladders now. The ladders are a fantastic addition. I thought it was just like, you know, a thing. It's a big thing. Bruh, bruh. That's so cool. Can we place these on the ground? Cause let me tell you, it'd make my life a lot easier if we could just do that and we super can. 
No longer will I have to explore with large storage containers. We can literally just make a ladder. Um, looks extremely safe just standing vertically here. Don't worry about it. It's totally in the ground, totally supported. <laughs> That's amazing. It's gonna make it so much easier to explore and get around bases now. And speaking of exploring and getting around bases, they're the new jump pads. So now there is just the one jump pad and you jelly landing pad. Well, the jump pads now are pretty wild because you can see exactly where you go. Is that like a little bounce thing at the end? Is that where our body's gonna bounce off of? No, right? I don't know. And then how does this work? I am holding down the mouse button. Oh, and the scroll wheel. Okay. So you can go literally straight up. Cool. Can you go literally horizontal? 99% sure you can. You better believe it. Cool. Boop, boop. <gasps> that is so convenient. I know hyper tubes get you from A to B, but they're super expensive and dude, that is really, 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 really fast. Which is fantastic because I've always loved the jump pads. They're just so finicky. But now since you can use them so conveniently, it's like, bruh. 10 out of 10 time. Ooh, also, check this out. Doot, doot, doot. You can put them on walls! <laughs> so you can make a human pinball machine if you so wanted. There we go, we'll just do that. Hook you up to some power that's totally around, always. There we go. And say you just wanted to get somewhere quick, boop. That is very quick! Dude, you could make, oh my gosh, you could line hallways with these on both sides and just go bam, 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 bouncing all the way down. Well, maybe it'd be extremely finicky to set up, but it's possible. And you know what? If you set up a chain of these just in a two wide hallway, look at how fast this is, right? Like, it's almost like you're teleporting. Dude, this is, I'm gonna call it now. This is probably the fastest method of travel Aside from hypertube, like, booster cannons. It might be even faster. Like, you just blink. And you're somewhere else. And it's less dangerous, and it costs less power. Hmm. Is this the future? I wonder. I gotta mess around with this more on live streams. Twitch.tv slash I'm Kibitz, by the way. And in our Let's Play world, too. But now it's time to mess around with all the new piping stuff. So Mark II pipes, let's go! Mark II pumps, and there's even a new valve over here. Oh bud. So Mark II pipes, they, we all knew they were coming, but now they're finally here. Let's check them out here. So they can handle 600 cubic meters of fluid per minute. So twice the amount of a normal pipeline, but I'm sure you might have noticed their cost. So they cost plastic and alclad sheets. That, sir, is extremely, extremely expensive. And that means the Mark II pipes are a super late game thing. Like, pretty much you're going into nucleus stuff if you're messing around with these. Or some insane mega project. Yeah, that's surprising. I had guessed that these pipes would come in along with oil tech. Interesting. Because one thing confirmed by the developers is there's not gonna be a Mark III pipe. There's only the Mark I and the Mark II pipes. That is it. No Mark III. Anyway, there's also the pump, Mark II, which takes alclad sheets, motors, and plastic as well. So again, pretty expensive, but dude, so worth it, because the head lift is now 50 meters, brother. 50! Whereas this is only 20. So that's more than double the Mark I's. And also, check this out. I noticed this while building this little setup. But you can see the head lift visually now just by putting these guys down. So, you see it has a little pulse that goes out. You can see how far the head lift is going. So now you don't need to measure with wall segments how far the pumps go. And it's, oh, it's not just the default 10. I think it's showing exactly how far it will go. Let me build a wall here. That'll be a better test. Okay, big old wall of Reno. Ah, there we go. So there's like a little stop gap it shows. Dude, that's actually so handy. <laughs> I was working on a nuclear project and it was so insane. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, we could just use these. It goes so far. 
Oh, dude, that is like the best. I love these. I love these. I'm so happy they're in the game. Oh, beautiful. And they actually look so good. Whoever modeled these, bruh. Quality job. They're beautiful. Oh yes, and along with all the pipes, there was this little guy that was hidden in one of the teaser trailers, but it's the valve. So, it's a valve. It has a direction, it uses rubber and steel beams to create. So, just number one right off the bat, it doesn't take any power, so it's a nice way to direct water. So say you had a water source coming in this way, and a water source coming in this way, usually you'd have to build a pump, so the water wouldn't backflow out in that direction. Now you have valves to control its flow. It's and like, not only its directional flow, but its flow rate. So, you can effectively load balance with liquids now. Because say, these machines over here only took like, what is it? 180 of your water. You could turn this right on down. Ooh, has a cool little animation too. Can you type in here? You can. There you go, you turn it down to 180. And that means the rest of the water will be forced out another pipe. Isn't that great? So yeah, you can have super efficient pipe systems now. Where all the water doesn't have to overflow through every machine and all that kind of jazz. You can just get rocking and rolling. So then we'll just have this here. And off to the race as it goes. So we have the 600 fluids going through here. This will only allow the 180, and then the rest will go down this way. And after a time, it should even itself out. Mm-hmm. Still a lot of tricky mechanical things to go through. But overall, this is a step in the right direction. I am super excited to put down a bunch of these throughout my world. It's gonna make things run so much better, dude. Oh my goodness, because I have... The Long story short, it's gonna be super convenient for super technical worlds. And thank goodness it doesn't use power either. Oh, lifesaver. Anyway though, when do you get these things in the game? So we already know the Mark II pipes and pumps are super late game, but when do we get the valves? When do we get pipes in general? Looks like tier three with coal power, correct. So that's all looking the same. You don't get the valve here, which is interesting. Tier 4 then? Advanced steel production? No valves? Really? Really? Okay. Oil processing? When? What? Did I miss it? Oh, what? Really? Okay. That's very surprising. You get the valves in tier 6. Interesting. And then over da da da. Those are just modded things. Over in tier 7 now, we get again. The Mark II pipes and pumps. Very interesting. I can kind of get the, my, the Mark II pumps and pipes because they're not going to have a Mark III pump or pipe, right? So, makes sense. This is like real late game. Interesting. Very interesting. This update is quite snazzy. Oh, and it looks like there's one more important thing in the patch notes, but guess what? With the ladders, boop, they ignore velocity. So, you can fall from any height, and you can just grab onto ladders, and it will cancel your fall. So, you know, low-key, simple-to-build jelly pad, pretty much. So that's really cool, and I think that is pretty much it with this update. We've checked it all out, and we'll be messing around with it a lot more in our Let's Play world. So remember to subscribe to check that out, and again, remember to leave a like. But again, that's gonna be it. Enjoy the update, guys. I know I will, and I hope to see you in the next video. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye.